Hello Fluffies! I have another huge pile of packages to open with you for this monthly haul. There's brand. I think there's at least one dress, maybe two. There's my petticoat and some shoes from Taobao, some magazines. Those are boxes, but they're not boxes. Who we tell? A lot of good things to look forward to, so let's do it. Okay, let's start with the flat things. It looks like there is pins here. Let's see. Oh, there's badges. What is it? Is it La Petite Parisienne? Whoa! Okay, I did not think it would be an A4 format, even bigger than that. Oh my god, so many cute things. Okay, oh wow. So this is a French magazine from Lolita and they also did a Kickstarter, I think. Or Ulu, something like that. This is so cute and so I, I helped them with the Kickstarter, I mean the crowdfunding. And I got the paper version because before that it was only PDFs. So there are prints, super cute prints, so many, so many things. Okay, and a sticker. That's so cute. I love the print on this one. And two badges, let's see. Okay, it's the same one as the prints, I think. Yes, same ones are the prints and the prints are from, it doesn't say anything. Maybe inside of the magazine it will say. And I saw something else. Wait, when I opened it, at the end, here is more surprises. It says, Merci Joël, une de tes jolies cordes. One of your cute coordinates. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will put it on my wall also. And this one, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember now. Elle est vraiment trop top cette corde. <laughs> So, so cute. Yeah, I remember now they, they said that uh, at a certain level of uh, pledging to support them, then you get somebody who is actually uh, sketching one of your coordinates. Oh, okay. So uh, they asked if they could uh, interview me for the next issue, but I waited so long to open that that they had con to, to contact me on Instagram to ask for an interview. And I'm doing that on Friday. So, yay. I cannot wait to get the other ones. I think this one is the third issue, but they had two other ones. That's sad that they did not write something like number or date or anything. But it's full color recipes, uh, articles, oh my god, fluffy toys things in it. Oh wow, I love it, I love it. I'm sure you will love it too. Oh, do I have like the people helping? Do I have my name somewhere in there? It's my name that is not Fluffy Gary Joe because it's uh, not Patreon and it's an, but I'm in there, okay. Thank you so much La Petite Parisienne, that's so exciting. I cannot wait to read this all. Okay, next one, this one comes from Japan and it's so exciting because this is something also for you guys. Yay, awesome. So this is the, the com photo book and I asked them if they would send me another one. So this is the one that I paid myself and this one is offered by the com for you guys. We will make a giveaway. Yay! So the com is a fashion magazine that is only online and I have collaborated with them for uh, some pins and stickers and uh, I have also an article about me on the website and they're actually in Japan and they're run by a team of very uh, international people and it's available in so many languages, at least four languages. But you can see that they're used to be in Japan and super wrapped up like in Japan. So basically it's, it's a photo book I'm discovering it with you guys right now based from where all their favorite shoots for the magazine. Oh, Mila is in there. That's Mila, Kawaii ambassador for friends. I really wanted to buy this book because how I started J Fashion and Lolita in general was seeing the magazine uh, Fruits and I think that these days we don't have any photo books and that's missing. We see a lot of people photos online, but it's never the same as having the book in your hands. So I'm so happy to have that. And if you are as excited as me, you can get this one too. So I will uh, do a giveaway. The rules are comments that you want to participate in the giveaway. Like you can do a general comment about the video, but you have to specifically say in the comments that you want to participate in the giveaway. And you have to 
share with me which is your favorite of my videos and share this video on social media and send me a link to that in your comments. Like, oh, my favorite video of you is the first episode of uh, Lolitas vs. Nomi. So you post a link to Lolita vs. Nomi on your Facebook and then you tag your post. You link your post in your comments and saying that I can click that you have shared my video. So if you do that, then um, I will use a random comment um, picker and if the comment has a link to a public post about one of my videos and you mentioned that you want to enter the giveaway, then you will win this and if not, I'll pick another one, okay? Uh, probably do that on my um, Instagram stories, pick the winner. You will have until the date that is written in the description because I don't know now when this video will be out. So good luck if you want to win this. I'm so excited. Okay, next, more magazines. I promise you we will go to fashion. This is a fanzine that's called Magique, also in French. And it's all about gig girls. And this is amazing. I saw their magazine at the Japan Expo in 2019 when I was actually traveling after to the US and I really could not afford carrying things like that in my uh, bag and then I forgot and now I'm actually buying them. And the three, they have four issues. Ooh. Bonne lecture, les kids make Oh, they, they have cute recipes. That's cute, like recipe cards. And um, the, to the three first ones are actually in uh, PDF only, and those are printed. This is a lot of pop culture things, but mixed with girly stuff, I guess. Le mag féminin geek. So look at how cool this is. It's amazing, basically. Unfortunately, it's in French, but... Oh, this one is special Japan. Let's see. Uh, the test is what are the super uh, cliche thing about Japan that you are... Ooh, Totoro nails. Okay, okay. They have a casual classic Lolita here. Interesting, let's see. Yeah, I would say it's casual classic Lolita. Technically, it's casual and it looks... Yeah, 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 it could work. It says very gay inspired because this is more like you're normie and you want to look like X. This is what you should do that. Like how to kind of look like Lolita or fairy K if you want to have only normie clothes, which I don't know if it's a thing, but anyway, I'm actually wanting to do a video that would be called how to blend in and telling you how to keep your aesthetics but uh, feel more normie in certain situations. Anyways, uh, Magic, it looks amazing. I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to read all that. I will have a lot to read. Next, I think these are stocks. This is something that I bought from a friend of mine in the community and they're AP socks. Yeah, they were just basic AP white uh, pink socks. But uh, this is cool to have. And socks are so hard to clean. But actually, these have tons of cat hair. I think I will have to wash them again. Sometimes the, my socks keep being dirty here, but she, in that case, I think she did not. Um, wash them first, so let's wash them. But they're cool. They are very natural socks that I can use with a lot of things, so that's cool. This is more glasses. Okay, do you remember the super cool uh, rainbow glasses that I bought? I bought two pairs, one without any prescription and the other one with my prescription and it was super cheap, but the shape was really not flattering to me. So now I looked more, I looked at more glasses and I took them without prescription. The idea is to have maybe, because I think that uh, my side has changed a bit. So my idea is that if I like these, I will go to the store here in Switzerland and put like, have it look super closely at my eyes and put my uh, new prescription uh, lens. But with awesome new glasses that I can actually not find anywhere in Switzerland. So 
I'm showing these just to see already if I like the shape because my glasses that I have now, um, the, the lens is destroyed like it's been aging very badly and I need to change them. But the frames are super cute, but black and I wanted different frames. So let's see about that. It's very hard to see with that because it's really reflecting. So I cannot tell you now here if I like them, I will have to see without anything and alone, but I think they're cute. And this one is light pink. So these were maybe 10 or $20 each of these glasses. So yeah, I, I want to have something more pink because the black is cute, but uh, I want to be able to change the glasses on, on different occasions maybe and in my videos because of the reflection of the light I'm always wearing contacts but on everyday life I'm always always wearing glasses but in Switzerland we don't have that many of those um, cheap glasses places and everything is so expensive either it's just a basic very ugly free uh, frame that they give you if you buy the lenses or it's like mine is a designer from France and they're like $200 for the frame. And then each of the lenses are like 110, I think. So that's crazy. Okay, this is exciting because this is a Puvithel order that we have ordered in October or something like that. I ordered a few things for myself and a few things for my friends. So I don't remember what is what. It's super cutely packaged. Oh my God, this seems like snack. I think that's Puri sent me stuff. Hi, thank you for the Christmas card. Sorry I took so long to write back. I hope you're doing well and can't wait to peep your face again soon. Oh, that's so cute. Super nice card from Puvithel. And it's a collab with a cotton book. And the art is from Le Lucy Kagan. Kagan. Oh yeah, this is actually the print for the new puppy print something. This seems to be snacks from the US. Ooh, goldfish, big snack, colors, source from plants, cheddar. I love cheese, this is amazing. I think I love those goldfish ones, but I had never seen the, them colored, so very exciting. And Nutter Butters Bites, peanut butter. Oh my God, everything looks so good. Oh, and Peeps, marshmallow Peeps, cotton candy and a pink. Oh my God. So I was wondering, what is these peeps things? I've seen so many people actually having um, plushies of that. That's so cool. So now I'm in. Um, I don't think I have the time to do a taste test here. If you really want, I can do that in a future video. But thank you so much, Booby. Oh, I'm excited to try all that. Let's open the gifts. I mean, the, <laughs> the real thing that we paid. So this is a group order with Leah and Jess. And they're all packaged like that. Look at this washi tape. Also the outside packaging is so cool. I really like that she has her own printed package. So I absolutely do not have the order right here with me. So I have no idea who ordered what. Let's see. the cards. Oh, it's a point card and I have so many stamps. Yay. So I think that there's like three of them that are almost the same. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think this is mine. This is gold outline with shiny iridescent stars and pink heart. So I have another one that has these iridescent beads all around. Like the big one is that and now I changed because I wanted another one. Or I think she said that some of these parts are being discontinued and that was the last chance to order these necklaces. And so I think those are from my friends. They're almost the same, but the, um, the beads around here are, like the rhinestones actually are clear and not iridescent. And there's another one that is black. I think this is for Leo. I'm excited. And this is probably a free pin. I absolutely don't wear things like that, but maybe that Leah does. So maybe that's her style. And here we have earrings and rings. I again don't remember. So there's one 
Oh, that's a shame. They're all put together and the, the iridescent one is scratched already. That's an issue I had on mine already also. The other ones are just glass, so it's fine, but uh, this one, it's damaged already just by packing. That's that's a, that's a shame. So those are the drop earrings and we have two rings. Yay, thank you, finally we got the order. It's been so long, but it's been a huge, huge a pre-order and she got swamped with, with the, so many orders so I'm so happy for her that she got to sell that many things and thank you so much again Povi for all the good snacks that you sent I cannot wait to see that now I have this is coming from Japan this is probably a dress this is clothes I think it's also a dress I'm not sure let's open these okay I think back in December some company called Aestheticer said that they have uh, a shop that also does blind boxes and uh, like you know packs of cute things and if I wanted to try and get one so this is actually a free gift that I got but it was a long time ago and then I asked if they had a tracking number and no answer and then I did not see the thing coming and I was expecting actually a box like one of those big cute boxes with the logo on it and everything. I did not see it coming and last week they said, hey, did you get it? And I said, no. And then I opened some packages that I did not know what this is just to peek and it was that. I'm confused now because I have two of them, but those are free. They sent me that for free, but I will still review it with my very honest opinion. Whoa, so many things. Oh my God, okay. So this is the brand, Aestheticer, and this one, the description on the package said it's a backpack. It's actually a crossbody bag, not a backpack, but it's so cute, so cute and fluffy. And it's quite big actually. And it's also adjustable, which is good. Some of the cheap ones don't, are not like adjustable. So this is a short one and I can make it way bigger because you can actually technically make it like a handbag or something, but if you do the super long one, it's definitely a big crossbody bag, even maybe too long. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's so soft. So, 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 so soft. I love it. And it's very, very good quality. It looks like thin and everything, but it's not cheap. And it's uh, embroidered here, so that's very cute. I don't know if it's a special character or it's a license or something. There's no brand or anything in it. So maybe it's just their own brand. And they have, it's, they said it's a stationery pack. So, oh, okay. So this is a collaboration with Rindboo. So that's awesome. You have all the info here. And here, this is stickers. You can see tons of stickers. They're good. They look like uh, stickers that uh, it's not only paper. It looks like they have some kind of uh, finish to it that uh, they will last long outside. So many cute things. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So in one package, I got all this. I think this is a card. Ooh, this is to enclose a card. This is nice. It looks handwritten, but I think it's printed, but it looks really nice. So this is signed 1st of March. 2021 so they wrote me in December so I don't know if they sent me the, the second package and the first one I don't remember that anyways that's awesome so basically the thing is they're creating cute things to enjoy so glad to find you on YouTube channel and we take you as the real aesthetician who really knows how to enjoy life and have beautiful eyes to explore the aesthetic side of daily life this is so cute. So basically they create a lot of different things and sometimes they do collabs, but also, oh, this is letter paper set. This I'm super excited about because I'm actually uh, now having a lot of patrons that I need to write each month. And I was using regular normie cards that I had. Which is good because I never used any of these, so it was good to use them. But now I have actual kawaii paper. One says I'm so lucky. This one has dinosaurs. Oh, that's so cute. So there's several sheets of each of them. And those I thought they were sticky notes, but they're just cute, 
cute paper. They're huge. This is so cool. This is perfect to just put a note in a package and doesn't have to be sticky. This is so cool. I'm definitely, definitely using that. This one looks like a sticky note. Stationery is cool because everybody uses pens and papers and everything. So it's not a sticky note, it's just a notepad. And this one is sticky notes. It does say sticky notes, but it's not sticky. That's weird. They're not sticky notes. <laughs> I mean, there's not sticky. And so it's a it's a notebook like that, and you can uh, they're pre-cut, and you can separate them in half. They're so cute, but not sticky. But uh, again, I don't mind. And these are stickers. I'm not uh, opening them because you can see them well like that here. So this is one pack and apparently I got another pack that maybe has the same bag. <laughs> I don't know, I'm very confused. Thank you anyway for even sending me two packs. I think it's a different plushie bag and those bags, I like that too. So it's a different bag. I think this is just the shape to put your phone in. That's perfect. And also, so there's a um, magnet here to close it. And also it has a strap. Okay, this one is not adjustable. Yeah, it's also crossbody. It goes quite low here. And it's also so fluffy. It's, is it the exact same face? Yeah, it's the exact same face. It's so cute. Very nice. This is so fluffy. I like that. So basically, um, this is the same thing. Maybe because I said uh, I did not receive the first one, they sent another one and the, the other one arrived. So this is the same notepad. Yeah, it's the exact same things. And here I have two of the stickers. So basically I have everything double. Maybe I will do a second giveaway. You know what? If you do the same thing, I will just do that, like somebody from the same comments that will win the, the com book. I will also have somebody win one of these packs. I will see which one I actually use. Maybe I will, I will keep both of these and add two of these in the pack. I don't know. There will be a bag of uh, things. Anyways, thank you so much. So, um, I will... Maybe add one of the two bags, I'm not sure yet which one I'll keep or if I can keep both or put both or if I do two packs, we'll see. Now we have three things left. Let's open the thing from Tavo. So I'm actually doing another video where I'm researching all the different Taobao resellers and comparing the price of buying from Taobao directly. And I compared all the shipping, everything. And I wanted to finish this video by unboxing this big box from Tobo. And so I will actually post some of the footage from this unboxing also in the other video. So this is it. Okay, and my shopping service is Superbuy. And I do have a link in the description if you want to buy your stuff from Superbuy and you get them shipped using my link then I will get a small commission and you will help support my channel with no additional costs for you so please do that if you don't have a shopping service yet okay so the first thing that I want to try is the shoes so as you may know I'm trying to get as many points for the Lolita level up quiz and I think I need it only like 12 points to become the highest tier and owning a pair of rocking horse shoes was one of it. So this year I finally took the plunge and bought a pair of rocking horse shoes. They are smelling terribly. Oh my god. This is actually, I don't know the name of this fabric. This is regular sole that you will have for a, a platform. And the wood is painted on it. This is so cheap. <laughs> I mean, the shape is the rocking horseshoe that I'm not even sure I will actually want to use. And I hate that the shoe is light, this is light, and they put the black sole because this is the black. I can tell you, it's already stained the box here. So we'll, if I wear that in my studio to take pictures, it will definitely stain my super white carpet. And I'm not even sure I want to go out in a meetup in these. Well, I don't know, because I don't know if they're comfortable, actually. We'll see, we'll see. 
But actually, they are from Bodyline, which is interesting because there's not like a Bodyline shop in Tobo. You can buy Bodyline shoes, but I don't know if they're fake Bodyline shoes or extras. I did not realize there will be fake wood here. But technically, they work as rocking horse shoes and I should get a point. And they're cute, pearly pink, and they're size 40, so it should fit my foot. And this is like... This is like a ballerina strap that you can tie around your feet. I'll try them on and see if they fit. I'm really actually really worried about staining my carpets, but I do own rocking horseshoes now. Okay, the Aurora and Ariel rainbow petticoat in custom sizing and it was Actually, super easy. I just mentioned that I wanted to custom sizing when I ordered and the agent took care of that, so it should be okay. I do have an Aura and Ariel bag. This is like brand, like AP, when you buy directly, they will send you the bag separately. That's cute. Somebody on my video about the petticoat said that the half white, half rainbow version was cuter because um, it would look more pastel because there's only one layer and I thought let's go for everything but I think I agree it looks more pastel uh, I sold the other one to Marianne so now we are sisters of petticoats okay it looks actually like it would fit me I think I will be very happy okay this one has like three tiers and there was one with two tiers and they just said that it depending on the size or anything. So I will wear it and tell you more about that. I'm so happy. I hope this will be my everyday petticoat. Honestly, I've been wearing it for like maybe 10 minutes and I feel it still very, very tight. I mean, it's less tight than the other and I may, I did a whole day with it. So I think it's still good that it's a little bit tight and not falling and I don't need to adjust it all the time because it's an elastic and there's no drawstring, which is good. But I feel like it could be a little bit less tight, but maybe also I can just have it open and put an elastic a little bit less tight. But I measured it and before it was 56 centimeter to 104 that I measured and now it's 67 centimeter to 105. So basically it's just, it's almost like 10 centimeter wider at the unstretch, which is actually good. So I think I'm happy Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> it's tight. Uh, it's always a struggle. I want to find a perfect petticoat and uh, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's gorgeous and it's fluffy and uh, yay, I like it. Okay, this is a dress, I think. Oh no, no, no. Oh wow, I know what this is. Oh, this is so exciting. This is finally my order from Sweet Candy Lolita shopping service that things that I have been buying since August that are all together and I thought it was a dress but this is a blouse and I have so many things inside. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I was so excited about these socks. So basically I was so excited about everything that I bought and then I could not get them because it would take ages to come but this is from Roji Roji. And they're so good, they have so many different colors. They are super long and I think they should be quite wide. Nice, they're so pretty, so pretty. This is not exactly the same mint, but I have so many different mints that it will definitely be something. So let's see, this blouse, I was so excited to get. It's from Mystery Kingdom. Isn't it the most fancy blouse that you've seen? So basically if I had skirts, it would be perfect. I think it's kind of not too see-through because it's cotton, but it's very ornated. And so then you can just uh, wear a plain skirt and it's not like you have a plain white blouse or something. So that's really cool. And I don't know if it will work with all my chest case that are super on it too, 
but I thought it would be so amazing. They had many colors, they had also short sleeves and long sleeves. It's so exciting! This is the most exciting blouse that I own. It's so different. So I took the size extra large. I think I could have fit in the large. This was up until 106 centimeters and the large was 100 centimeter and I'm usually 96 centimeters and it goes up to 2XL that is 112 centimeters which is amazing because it's gorgeous it's a little bit short here but that's fine and it's so fancy so fancy I'm a little bit worried about the different tones of pink but that's fine here like it's more dusty pink and here and here more bright pink and then the Mint is a mint that I have a lot though, so that's fine. No, I think I'm super happy about it. It looks nice. And I think I'm more comfortable being a little bit bigger, especially if it's under NJSK, I won't mind, than too small. Like the other one would have room, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to have more room. So yay! And the rest is jewelry. Okay, I bought many other things and some were pre-orders, so this is exactly not everything everything so this is an ice cream bunny ring and it's acrylic it looks a lot like the angelic pretty kind of jewelry i have the exact same one in lavender this one the the, the thing carrying it has a very cute bow on it okay exact same one in lavender and this is a necklace it comes from the salty sage wait it's not a necklace it's actually a brooch but it's very cute too yeah it's a little bit multicolored and i think my ice cream dress has a lot of different colors on the front so it should be okay this is a necklace yay and okay has the bow here that's interesting because the bow is like very dusty pink and the rest is bright pink so this is gorgeous and cute, but I'm really the kind of, oh my God, I'm having red or dusty pink and I have nothing like that on my coordinate. Am I allowed to wear that? I'm really, really not into putting crazy bright colors on something and not having it anywhere else on the coordinate. I know I'm super crazy, but this is it. It's gorgeous. And like the back and the actually ice cream, like this one. Yeah, both of them. It's like iridescent pearlescent even. It's really, really pretty. It's gorgeous, super good quality. I'm so happy. And what is this? Is it a gift? Oh, wow. I thought it would be a long one. There's tons of those brooches. Many, many of the same ones and two different ones. These I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven exactly like these. So cute. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's a gift or not. And now I would like to show you the next collection from Fluffy Tori. We have a collaboration with Lollipop Lullaby. It's a super cute brand and what we did is that we had the designer from Lollipop Lullaby and Metso work together and so they both did our both mascots in their style. And so for Lollipop Lullaby, Millie designed our fluffy birds and made a t-shirt and a bag that is reversible. And Metso designed a sticker sheet and two pins and washi tape. So this is super exciting. The collection is already out. You can buy it from our respective uh, websites that will be linked in the description. But also we will have a limited amount of the whole set with things from two brands on both our shops. So um, I don't know how many, I don't know if they will be sold out by the time this video is released but uh, go check it out and uh, if you want to save on shipping and buy everything from the same brand it's possible but we will have a limited quantity of that okay last one it's a dress comes from japan i think this is something i bought on lace morgan look at the package it's actually an ap bag that's all wrapped up with big ugly tape it's not even closed all the way you can see through here for like a $300 dress 
and having to pay like almost 50 dollars extra of taxes uh, honestly I don't feel like it's been packaged very well and of course it's nice to have an EB bag but now the bag is definitely ruined so I cannot save it I think yes it's the dress I was thinking about so the dress is toy doll box and I remember actually that I see novelties like a pouch or makeup bag from AP Paris and I did not remember seeing this release actually so I kind of missed on this one and I don't know what's the deal with this dress because you can find it on lace market brand new with tags from several different resellers and it feels like it's really resellers so at some point I was like are they fake? basically those resellers really look like they were scammers or scalpers <laughs> but I really wanted that dress but they have several of the brand new with tag same price uh, for all the colorways and several sold and several listed so this dress seemed quite popular so it's not like they bought the whole stock because no one wanted it so actually i don't know what's the deal with that i paid it like a hundred more dollars than it was before it has a label on everything so is it one of those replicas that have the label i have the hanger honestly it looks awesome so i don't think it's a replica but because, okay, so many people bought it off Lace Market and you're definitely not allowed to sell replicas on Lace Market, so I don't think it's a replica, but why do these people have so many of the same dress, brand new with packs? What I've seen is people buying the dress and then realizing they don't like it and selling it or they don't fit in it. So I would understand that, but in that case, I don't know what's the deal. And it's full back shearing. I really noticed that. Um, I can check out the measurements all I want. If it's half shearing, like partial shearing, I would uh, may maybe fit and it's very uncomfortable. If it's full back shearing, I fit all the time. So I don't even need to maybe check the measurements all the time. Yes, I actually do, but. Are you underwhelmed also by the hangers from AP? They could have like cute pink hangers it's gorgeous okay it has a lot of uh, lavender and yellow which is not something that i usually like but it's striped uh mint and pink and there's some glitter on the dress okay i'm actually super happy i own this dress because it's gorgeous okay so it's a cotton dress actually or is it polyester now but it looks it looks very cottony two pockets there's a few loose threads, but that's fine. It has some kind of a white bib here and uh, some buttons and so many different lace. This lace here is pink. This one has hearts. This one has just dots. This is just a trim. There's a very cute flat bow that is sewn on in the middle. And at the bottom, it's uh, scalloped. And the lace has bears on it that's so cute and this shy bear and lyrical bunny and this is this some kind of mouse it says julie is this the name of this mouse i'm not familiar with it balloons and uh, little friends be my friends it's so cute and it's full of line but the inside it has a very different mint which is funny it's like a different tone of mint. This basically is like my tone of mint, perfect, and my tone of pink. Mm, why did I not buy this dress earlier? It's so gorgeous! It's so gorgeous! And I will probably fit very well in it. And now I feel like I need more lavender and yellow accessories. I have none. Okay, it has also detachable waist ties. Uh, those waist ties are only one layer. The other layer is uh, the lining. Yeah, it's the same uh, mint that is actually not the exact same mint, but it's not that visible, but you have to make a very nice bow so it won't show. 
And the bottoms for the detachable waist ties are like jelly, all glittery pink. That's very cute. And there's many places where there's glitter on the print. That's so cute. I think this is only my second dress with glitter. The first one is Sugar Dream Dome. Somebody asked me how do I wash that? I don't. <laughs> I only spot clean and I never ever wear that without a blouse and I sweat in the blouse and so basically I don't wash it which is not good but uh, yeah I air on my dresses before putting it back uh, in the wardrobe and with that I have not needed to wash them because I make sure I don't uh, Make them dirty. Of course you'll be excited to see me wear it. There's so many loose threads. Really? I mean, this is AP. No, this is way too much for AP. This is really bad. Is it a replica? I don't know. I hope not. Basically, it's so good quality that it's probably not a replica. If it was a replica, you would see it usually. The replicas from EP that I've seen it are terrible. But I'm just a little bit worried. So let me know if you know more about this situation. And of course I will uh, wear it and let you know how I feel in this dress. So I was wondering if I could wear the JSK with the blouse because the blouse is a little bit too much. Basically it looks like an OP because it's so perfect and fits so perfectly. I don't know, I like it very much, it's so close. So I don't know if I will wear it with that all the time, but this is definitely an option. Okay, so like I thought, full back shearing, it's so comfortable. Also the waist, like my natural waist is here and here, so it's a decent longer body for a P. It's perfect. I'm so happy in it, it's so comfortable. I like it very much, I'm very happy about this dress, I'm glad I got it. And i see if I find ways to coordinate it with my more lavender accessories because I think I should get a lavender blouse at some point, but then I have many different lavender things. Two pockets, two pockets, yay. So I will need to buy different lavender shades. I don't know if I wanna go this route or not. The lavender route, you know that I don't like lavender. I think mint is awesome and I hate lavender. I don't know, I think that because the, the sleeves are so big, I look so thin. And also, let me see. This is my new horror and aerial petticoat. Maybe I should put it a little bit higher. To follow here. I love it. I love it. What do you think, guys? I think it's awesome. Oh, wait, what's that? Cartoon Carnival. Well, actually, this is from Lafore, right? No? I think this is the advertisement for Lafore that they uh, did something, a collab that was terrible, basically, with <laughs> AP and uh, Tom and Jerry. Why? They could have done something cute, and it was really like ugly pajamas. I don't know. So maybe it's just a re-release that has tons and that the person bought many from the store in Japan. I hope that you enjoyed this other installment of me buying stuff and showing it to you. I'm trying to do something on my Patreon to review an indie brand each month and I will focus on an indie brand that represents everybody can be kawaii, that is owned by somebody, by POC, or somebody that uses a lot of by POC, or people with different ab abilities, or weight, or sizes in their advertisement. Yeah, I, I want to support people that are doing well, a good things for the community and showing that everybody can wear Lolita, and it does not need to be uh, clothes, it could be accessories, it does not need to be Lolita, it could be things that I could wear every day or so. So basically if you have ideas of uh, brands that you want me to review that would fit that, please write them in the comments and then I will do a separate video each month. The goal is each, each month but also it's uh, the, the goal I'm going to, I'm trying to attend on my Patreon so I have a couple of months or maybe years, I don't know, until I reach that. So then I have time 
to figure out but I want to put that out there that if you have a brand that you want me to review and buy from uh, let me know and I will um, try to buy from your brand and show it to the whole world so if you enjoy these monthly hauls click here to see more of them and remember everybody can be going bye bye